Hello everybody, it's Paul Neeson with the Torah Life Ministries and today I have a special guest, I have several guests talking about this new movie that's about to come out and it's called Let the Lion Roar and I'm really excited about this project and I'm looking forward to seeing it and encourage you to, to you too as well. We have the author, actor and also the director uh, of the movie. We have them on the show today so here they are, check them out. Hi, this is uh, Vanessa, and uh, Vanessa, you have a new movie coming out called Let the Lion Roar that I you do. directed. I did, yes. And uh, can you tell us a little about the movie? Well, the movie covers about 2,000 years of history. It looks at um, the great deception, the cover-up of the Jewish roots of the faith. And so we go from um, ancient Bible prophecy all through to modern times, and we see how key church leaders um, and other such influential characters have actually contributed to this deception. And uh, what made you decide to direct a movie like this? Well, it actually originated out of some content that my father generated that I heard at a conference and I just felt that it was such an important message that needed to be shared with many more than a couple hundred people, but with millions and millions of people. And as a filmmaker, I knew that film would be a fantastic medium to be able to do that. And uh, give us the name of the film and tell us when it uh, should be out. Uh, the movie is called Let the Line Roar. It comes out on September 19th on Blu-ray and DVD with an associated book called Escaping the Great Deception and it can be purchased at LetTheLineRaw.com uh, Pre-orders are going to become available during the summer. It features 24 celebrities. It actually stars Kevin Sorbo, Star of God's Not Dead in the lead role as Calvin. Um, it also stars uh, John Schneider, Stephen Baldwin, Jason Berkey, Jackie Velasquez, Jamie Grace um, and we also have a number of amazing messianic leaders in it such as Mark Biltz, Paul Wilbur, Sid Roth, um, so it's really packed with a lot of great talent and we believe it's going to be a heavily entertaining uh, film for you to watch. Is it a documentary or is it actually a It's film? a docudrama and actually um, technically it's called a hybrid documentary because every facet of it is dramatized and the movie actually was mostly filmed on green screen so it's a big VFX movie. It has over 200 special effects in it so visually it's very very dramatic, it's very entertaining and it's a movie that really anyone, I would say, from the age of 13 or 14 years upwards can watch. Now here is the author and uh, one of the stars of the movie, uh, uh, Derek Frank. Uh, Derek, well, what made you decide to write on this topic? Well, it was a vision that the Lord gave me maybe 25, 30 years ago that, that started it all. So let me just tell you what the vision was. Uh, it was in the sort of heyday in the late 80s of the charismatic movement. A lot of visions that people have. But I was given a vision that no one could really interpret. Uh, I saw like uh, it was a sort of Greek front of a building with pillars and steps. And people in medieval costume were coming in and going out then it moved inside to the building and it looked like a modern day conference going on and every time this vision would end with the words complete the Reformation now I was a young pastor what does it mean complete the Reformation I mean do what Calvin or Luther didn't do and it took me a long while to discover what it was that was incomplete about the Reformation and the, I, I read all through the Reformation it's a huge read I couldn't get to the bottom of it until one day I came across one little story and basically the story was that 50 years before Calvin ever reached the city of Geneva the Jewish people had been expelled from the city and then it was 250 years after Calvin died that the Jewish people were allowed back into Geneva. In other words, everything which happened in Geneva during the Reformation did nothing for the Jewish people. They were a cursed people before the Reformation. They were still a cursed people after the Reformation. So in other words, the Gospel was recovered, but there was no understanding of God's ongoing purposes for Israel. There was no sense that God still had purpose for this nation, which Scripture tells us He had chosen. He didn't promise He would always like Israel but he always promised to love Israel with an everlasting love and so basically Calvin recovered the gospel and what they got was truth what they got you might say was nothing but the truth but they never got the whole truth the whole truth that God's purposes for Israel have never ended that the church was grafted into Israel so essentially the church was re-established as a Gentile church in a bubble it became about personal salvation it's just about me and God 
it's not about the fact that God has purposes for Israel that will lead up one day to all Israel being saved. So it was an incomplete gospel. This was the great incompletion of the Reformation. Now there are many different scriptures in Revelation, uh, but for the movie advertisement you actually use Revelation 5.5. 5. That's it, because we speak about the Lion of the tribe of Judah. So the Gentile church in the bubble knows the Lord as the Lamb of God, but it has very, very little understanding of the Lion of the tribe of Judah being the one who became the Lamb of God. Now, if you want to un understand a book, one of the best ways of understanding a book is to read the last page. You look at the last page of Scripture, almost the very last words, the great I Am of Jesus, of Yeshua. He says, I am the root and the offspring of David. Just three verses later, it says, if anyone takes anything away from this, they risk forfeiting their right to eat of the tree of life. So who is the root and the offspring of David? The previous references in Revelation 5 verse 5, where he is the lion of the tribe of Judah. And our passion is to help people understand who the lion is and how the lion wants to roar through the church today. And that's how you got the name. That's how we got the name. Though if you look in Amos 3 verse 8, you will find those very words about let the lion roar. And then if you look again in Hosea 11 10, you find again the same reference about the roaring of the lion. One is a challenge to God's people who thought they were okay with him when they weren't. The other speaks about the redemption of Israel. Great. And there's the advertisement for it. Let the lion roar. Okay, I'm going to take a picture of her because she has a Okay, uh, so give us your name again and tell us. So, my name is Derek Frank, and uh, I, up to recently, was a pastor in the old city of Geneva. And God has led me now into a calling to get involved in film that we can share this crucial message. I used to be able to share a thousand messages with two or three hundred people, but God said to me, share one message with two or three hundred thousand people. Film is the medium. It's it, the medium at the moment. Is there a website people can go to find so out So if people want to find out more, go to www.letthelionroar.com and you can order the, the DVD. It comes with a book called Escaping the Great Deception and it's going to be released on September the 19th, but you can pre-order from now on. Great. Thank you very much. Come out of the world, oh my people, seek the truth, avoid the evil, learn Yahweh's ways, Torah life ministries, come out of the world, oh 